Okay, so time has finally come to talk about the architecture of second gen cloud or OCI, which is Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So guys, you know that Larry actually got the top guys in the industry to work on this because his vision was that he wanted to look at the first gen of cloud and come up with recommendations. So when these guys got together, they actually said that there is a need to design the cloud from ground zero. And that's what Oracle has done. So they designed actually or revamped the whole cloud architecture. And let's take a look into that. So to start with, we'll actually just have a look at the connectivity. So just think that you are over here, you are inside your data center and you have to connect your machines uh, or your clients to uh, the servers or databases that are actually residing in the Oracle data center. So the Oracle region uh, we will consider as Oracle data center. So you have two options. Either you could actually go via the internet, which is like the public uh, network for everybody, or you could go via a secure and fast network, which we normally call Fast Connect. You might hear about that. So it is actually considered to be secure and fast. Secure because you're not using the internet because there's a specific fiber that is actually uh, laid uh, from uh, these uh, fast connect companies over to Oracle region and then uh, from Oracle region to data center. So you're not actually going via the public internet, right? That is the security part. And why we say fast? Fast is because they provide something like one to 10 gigabits uh, per second kind of uh, speed uh, that you would be getting in terms of connectivity. Okay, now uh, consider this Oracle region and we come to this part. So if, if you if you if you want to visualize this Oracle region is actually uh, it, it, the broader picture of Oracle region is, is this this whole picture. Okay, so we'll first talk about the Oracle region. We'll take it layer by layer and go from uh, bottom to top. So the first uh, part or the first layer is the Oracle data region. Oracle data region is nothing but a metropolitan area, like uh, it's a geographical area. We could say EMEA, you could say US. So it's, it's just a geographical area and it's actually used to provide DR or disaster recovery. And inside a data region, there are multiple availability domains. As you can see in the figure, there is this Oracle region and inside that, there are three ADs. We call it AD as availability domains, right? So and normally we say that they're, they're like there are, there are three availability domains. And why there are availability domains? Availability domains are there to provide fault tolerance and high availability. So just don't get confused. Your data regions are providing disaster recovery because one region is in EMEA, other is in US. But a data uh, availability domain is inside a region and there are like three of ADs. So these availability domains are providing you fault tolerance or high availability. And you would be surprised to know the kind of latency that is there between each AD is less than 500 microseconds. I'm saying microseconds, not milliseconds. So very important, it's less than 500 microseconds. So inside uh, the Oracle region, uh, we've talked about the ADs and, but what exactly would be there? There would be some kind of a physical network, which is quite true. And what kind of network they have designed? They have designed what they call a non oversubscribed network which means that the client would be getting a predictable performance. That's why Oracle is actually signing SLAs. They are saying that when you sign the contract with Oracle, they'll actually say what kind of performance you would get. If you don't get that, that kind of performance, you can always charge some kind of penalty back to Oracle or they will be paying back you uh, some kind of fee back to you. So remember, it is a non oversubscribed network which provides predictable performance. And the kind of um, bandwidth we are looking at is up to 25 gigabits per second bandwidth between the hosts that are there on the physical network. Then what they did, they, said, they thought that, okay, physical network is laid out, but we need to bring a virtualization layer in the network. So that is a game changer. Why it is a game changer? What they have done is they call it an off box virtualization. So the virtualization, which used to be on the server side, they actually brought that virtualization onto the network layer. So the, this is uh, called a VCN. A VCN is a virtual cloud network, and it is a software-defined version of traditional network. 
and it would have something like a subnet, internet gateways, routing tables. Now, now, now the benefit of having off-box virtualization is that or on the same network, you can actually connect different kinds of devices. So you could have an extra data machine, you could have a bare metal server, you could have even a virtual machine all on the same network. Because in the, in the, in the background, they're all built on the physical network and on physical network, we have this virtual layer, which is the VCN, right? And then uh, on top of it, we have the services. The, the, this is the thing that is actually uh, made available to us. As you know, that all the computer resources are made available to us as services. When we say we are getting a database service, we are getting an object storage service. As you can see, the compute service, We are they, these are the kind of services which are given back to the end user. So all these are actually built on top of the VCNs, right? So the kind of network, once you've chosen, then you put all these services. Okay, now they've actually come up with another model that is governance. So as I said, um, the, the key point of uh, the second gen cloud was security and isolation. So they wanted to isolate the resources so that the, the resources in, in one compartment shouldn't be actually available to the other compartment. That's why there's a concept of uh, this uh, compartments in, in the governance. So what you could do is you could have a compartment, something like a prod compartment where all the prod resources would be there. Then you have a non-prod compartment, you'd be dev, UAT, where, the, where all those resources would be there. So uh, the, the resources that are there in one compartment can actually be shared with the other compartment, but you can't move the resources across. And so, 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 so the concept of governance or compartments help to bring security and isolation into picture. So I would say this actually completes the whole idea behind the second gen cloud, which is the initially start with the connectivity, either you could go via the public internet or you could go via fast connect. Then we come to the layers, which we already discussed. We have Oracle data regions. Then on top of it, inside it, we have the physical network. Then we have the virtual network, which is off box virtualization. On top of it, we have services and then this whole thing is actually controlled by the governance model and we normally have IM services, APIs and compartments which actually help to organize and isolate the cloud resources. So with this we come to the end of the architecture of second gen cloud. Thanks for watching.